continue our series and talk about fat in this short video. So we already talked about water. We start with water because everybody needs water. You cannot go very long without water. So have you done anything about having proper water, proper filtered water? If not, go back to my video on let's talk about water. We also talked about salt because next to water, we need salt. All of our fluids are made, uh, have some salt content in it. And the first thing that happens when you go to an emergency room is they put you on a saline solution. So salt is very important, but not the amount of salt that I see most people put on their food. A little bit of salt and a good quality. So now let's talk about fats. I don't start with fats because that's more expensive. Water, really, it's not much more expensive to invest in a still, in a, in a good filter. Uh, by the end of the year, it will have cost less than buying bottled water. Salt doesn't change much the taste, doesn't change much uh, in your budget. However, oil does. Good oil, healthy oils is more expensive, but so worth it. So why is uh, oil important? It's important for longevity and it's for your overall all health, but it's also important because depending which oils or fats you use, you can cause inflammation or lower inflammation. So for overall health and longevity, you know we have cells about 37 trillion in a human body, 200 different types of uh, cells. And if you look at the little peanuts here in the blue cell, those are the mitochondria that you see down there. The mitochondria is where energy for your body is made. You need energy to process anything, to digest, to speak, to think, you need energy. And that's in this little peanut shape that the, our energy is being made. So to have energy, we need to have proper nourishment, nourishing food, good nutrition, healthy nutrition, but also we need oxygen. And that's where fats come in. So look at this is the outside of the cell, the skin of the cell, if you want. And those little yellow balls are made of lipids, which are fats. And that's what opens the receptors to get nutrients to come in the cells, also opens the receptors to let the trash, all the toxic waste to get out of the cells. So nutrients have to be able to get in and toxins have to be able to get out. And that is done through that double uh, layer of fat uh, lipids. So Otto Warburg, I believe he got a Nobel Prize for his research, figure out that uh, it's you know, what is important is to get oxygen to those mitochondria in the cells. What he figured out is if you are able to bring enough oxygen, you'll have optimum health. And as your level of oxygen decreases in your cell, you're gonna have less energy. You could have cardiovascular disease, Parkinson's, then cancer, and eventually death. And Professor Brian Peskin is the one that followed up on that research. So, two names that you can look up on and do your own research. So people say, well, if I need more oxygen, I'm gonna go jogging a little bit more. Well, that's not what we need. Jogging is good for you. Yes, you need it, but that's not necessarily what's gonna bring the, uh, the oxygen inside the cells. So what is going to bring the oxygen in the cell or more particularly, what is gonna stop the oxygen? So if you have bad quality oil, all the commercial oils that have been processed, and they put kind of a film on top of the cell, on top of that skin, so nutrients cannot get in and toxins cannot get out. So what happens when your cells get toxic, you get from optimal health to eventually death. It's very important that your cells have oxygen so they can make energy uh, in those little micro uh, in those little mitochondria, energy is ATP, adenosine triphosphate. That's what you need again for everything that happens in your body. You need energy. The way you get energy is putting oxygen into your cells. 
That's where facts are so important. That's why people think that the, the quality of the facts you eat is going to equal the quality and the longevity, the quality of your life and its longevity. So get proper oil. So what are the best oils to allow oxygen to get into your cells? According to Dr. Warburg and Peskin, cold press oils of flax, pumpkin, evening primrose, safflower, sunflower, hemp, walnut, almond, and sesame seeds are the best oils that do not put that layer of fat. And again, cold press organic. You don't go by those commercially made because that would put that, that film uh, back, that layer around your cells. However, Fats have also another important things to do in your body. It concerns inflammation. Look at that. Inflammation means it's inflamed, it's irritated, arthritis, dermatitis, uh, gastritis, all the itis in your body comes from an inflammation. Now you do need some inflammation. For instance, if you get a wound, you need that part of your body to get inflamed. It needs to repair. That's what inflammation does. Initially it repairs, but you don't want the over inflammation. You probably heard about omega-3 and omega-6. Okay, the proportion of omega-3 to omega-6 that we should be eating is one to one. One molecule of omega-3 uh, to one molecule of omega-6. Uh, However, in today's diet, this is not what we are getting. Let me go to my next slide. It doesn't want me to go to my next slide. There we go. So we have in our diets today, we get one uh, omega-3 out of 20 omega-6. That's why so many people suffer from chronic inflammation. How do you know if it's an omega you know, three, six or nine? Well, it's pretty simple. If you look at the chemical, uh, the chemistry of these molecules. So you have H, which represents hydrogen. You have C, which represent carbon molecules. And how you know which kind of fat it is, you start counting one, two, three, four, five. Mole uh, five atoms of hydrogen are connected to a, an atom of carbon. And on the sixth one for an omega-6, the hydrogen are connected to carbon. The two carbons are linked together. Now, if you look at omega-3, then you count one, two, and the third one, the carbon molecules have a double bond between them. If you have an omega-9, you would have eight hydrogens uh, going, you know, hydrogen, carbon, hydrogen, and then you would have a double bond of two carbons. So that's a little bit of chemistry. I was interested in what was the difference between these molecules. So where do you find the good types of fat? Organic, cold press oil, again, olive oil, coconut oil, nutseed oils, and also in uh, avocado, in butter, in ghee, and fats from grass-fed beef. Yes, it's more expensive. As I mentioned earlier, uh, when you're going to oils and fats, you're going to you're gonna have to change your budget a little bit to eat the good fats. So if you eat commercial meat, the fat in commercial meat, it's going to be omega-6 that will cause inflammation. The fat in grass-fed beef, it's going to be made of omega-3, which will lower your level of inflammation. Is that worth the difference of cost for you? So I have much more. I have a whole chapter on oils and fats in my upcoming book, which is a common sense approach to nourishing your body mind. It seems that uh, uh, nutrition has become so complicated. One day I received a newsletter. One was telling me, don't eat tomatoes, um, you know, make ketchup out of something else and tomatoes. So bad for you. The other newsletter encourage you to eat tomatoes because it prevented cancer or something like that. But there is some common sense and that's what my book is about, going back to common sense eating, eating well, living well with energy, vitality and focus. It's coming up soon. So that's it for today. I'll see you in a next video shortly. In the meantime, you live with passion, 
purpose and delight.